Hi there, friends, and welcome to Virtual Storytime at the Chippewa River District Library. Will you join me in singing the hello song? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Welcome to Storytime. Today we are talking all about caterpillars. I'm sure you might be able to guess what the perfect caterpillar book would be to read. It's The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. Here it is, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. And what's this? I have my very own caterpillar friend here to help me tell the story. Are you ready to tell the story, caterpillar? Right, let's go. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. But he was still hungry. Are you hungry, my friend? Here's an apple. Still hungry? Okay. So on Tuesday, he ate through two pears. But he was still hungry. Here's a pear. Are you still hungry, friend? Okay. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums but he was still hungry. Okay, I have a plum here. Let's eat it. Are you still hungry, friend? On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. One, two, three, four. But he was still hungry. Okay, time for a strawberry. Still hungry, friend? On Friday, he ate through five oranges. One, two, three, four, five. But he was still hungry. Here's an orange. Are you still hungry? I thought so. If you'd like to find out what happens next to our friend, the very hungry caterpillar, you can check this book out from the library and read the ending where, spoiler alert, he turns into a beautiful butterfly. Oh, friend, you look so beautiful with your butterfly wings. Five little caterpillars and not one more. One spun a cocoon and then there were four. One, two, three, Four. Four little caterpillars sitting in a tree, one spun a cocoon, and then there were three. One, two, three. Show me three fingers. Three little caterpillars looking at you, one spun a cocoon, and then there were two. One, two. Two little caterpillars sitting in the sun, one spun a cocoon, and then there was one. Show me one finger. Let's do it one more time. One little caterpillar left all alone. He spun a cocoon and then there were none. But that's not the end of the story, is it? Because what do caterpillars become? They become butterflies. One cocoon opened in the sun, out came a butterfly and that made one. The second cocoon opened and out he flew. He became a butterfly and then there were two. Show me two fingers. A third opened up and felt so free. She became a butterfly and then there were one, two, three. Show me three fingers. A fourth cocoon opened making one more. When he became a butterfly, there were one, two, three, four. 
a fifth cocooned open, so happy to be alive. When she became a butterfly, then there were, let's count, one, two, three, four, five. All right, it's time to write. You can follow along by tracing these letters in the air, or you can practice them on a piece of paper. Any attempt is, at writing is gonna be a good attempt that's gonna build up your pre-writing skills and prepare you for kindergarten. So let's get started with today's word. Tracing along the first letter here, the capital letter, it's an F. Then an lowercase l. And a lowercase y. F, L, Y, fly, fly. That's the perfect word today since we're talking about butterflies. Let's sing one more song about a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. You can follow along with the motions and the tune is the same as the itsy bitsy spider, if you know that song. A fuzzy little caterpillar curled up on a leaf spun her chrysalis and then fell asleep. While she was sleeping, she dreamed that she could fly. And later she woke up and she was a butterfly. Good job, friends. Thank you for telling that story with me. For this next finger play, we just need two little fingers like this. Each one is gonna be a butterfly. Two little butterflies sitting on a hill, one named Jack, and one named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Now that we've met Jack and Jill, we can do all kinds of opposites with our two butterflies. Let's try two little butterflies sitting on a car. One was near, put this butterfly really near to you, and one was far. Put this butterfly far away. Fly away near. Fly away far. Come back near. Come back far. Two little butterflies sitting on a cloud. One was quiet. Shh, be very quiet. And one was loud. Oh, be very loud. Fly away quiet. Fly away loud, come back quiet, come back loud, ah! That one's my favorite one, because it gives you an excuse to be loud in the library. Two little butterflies sitting on a gate. One was early and one was late. Fly away early, fly away late. Come back early, come back late, late, where's late? Has anyone seen him? Oh, here he is, he was late. Well friends, we've reached the end of our story time for today and it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing the goodbye song together. Goodbye friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you next time.